Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <clears throat> right, um, I had been hoping to do this video some uh, two weeks ago, but unfortunately I've been laid low with some random cold virus. So anyway, here I am. Um, as I mentioned last time, uh, this will be the 72nd birthday special, uh, which uh, involves pickups for January and uh, quite a few of them presents from my uh, loving family um, who always buys me stuff that I want so um, I got quite a lot of Destiny stuff for that birthday but I'm going to keep that for a separate I normally do a separate Destiny video when I've got a few items to show so um, yeah we'll get into it because it, well, it won't be too long a video there's not uh, there's not that much without the destiny, so we'll get uh, we'll get straight in. Um, yeah, it's disappointing on for the for the gamers amongst you with regard to gaming steelbooks. Um, not not well. I only want to show you an actual fact. Um, and that's the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The new one. Uh, strangely enough, game was selling these um, off. Um, without the game of course at two quid each so uh, yeah if you if you're into steel books and you want a cheap one you're not bothered about having the game nip in the game and they'll sell you one um, quite pleased with that one for a couple of quid um, right now I've got a quite a few um, film related well on TV related and some other film related uh, steel books so for any of you into that sort of stuff um, you might be a bit happier uh, right, first off the bat, that's the Doctor Who Complete Series 5. Um, yeah, it's um, not, one of, not, not my favourite Matt Smith series, but um, there's some good stuff in there. Um, you know, there's a lot of extras, uh, what have you, with it. Um, I mean, I've already got the ordinary box set, but uh, this is just the, the steelbook version of it. Um, yeah, quite stylish. Um, they tell me that uh, the very first series on Steelbook has gone up to about 200 quid now, so I'm going to have trouble finding that one, unless I'm really, really lucky, but uh, you never know. Just persevere, keep looking, and you never know what might turn up. Okay, now, this is the one I was waiting for. This is probably my favourite film of all time. It has become my favourite film of all time. This is the... Um, well, you can see Joker. It's the it's the Amazon exclusive 4K edition. Um, now, unfortunately, I I didn't realise um, that there was a there was a second steelbook. Um, it was a Zavi. It was a Zavi and HMV exclusive, I believe, and I, I think it was a Warner Brothers as well. But um, yeah, unfortunately, they all sold out and. Uh, I nipped into my local HMV yesterday to see if everybody had picked theirs up and they had, so it looks as if I'm going to have to pay over the odds on eBay for it. But anyway, this is a size the Amazon one. I, I had a look on Amazon and this is, they were charging about 60 odd, 70 quid for this um, already. I didn't even know it was sold out on Amazon to be honest. But um, yeah, I was to say this is one of my favourite films of all time. It is my favourite film of all time. I just love it. I've seen it six or seven times by now. Um, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad Joaquin Phoenix won the won the Oscar for Best Actor. I mean, for my money, it should have won Best Film. Um, I don't know whether there was something political going on with with Parasite. I, mean, I don't mean political in the broader sense. I mean, in uh, in the sense of the the Academy who vote for the, for these sort of films. But um, yeah, I was quite disappointed it didn't win Best Movie. But you can't have everything. I mean, the, the English BAFTAs went for an English film, 1917, which, you know, you can expect from BAFTA, you know, always, always go for an English film over anything else, no matter how good it is. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's a little diatribe over. I love Joker, as you can imagine. <laughs> uh, the only thing that disappointed me with the Steel book was that um, it didn't have a, um, a director's commentary on, which I would have liked to have heard, but... Um, Never mind. Okay, um, this is the first of the um, first of the three Captain America uh, st steelbooks on 4K. 
see there. Um, this 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 is more or less a little set of its own because they're all they're all a bit rough around the edges. You know, it's like, like an old an old picture if you like from the from the thirties forties era. Um, yeah, so I can actually show you this one, although it's one of these horrible things that's stuck where the cardboard's stuck with this horrible stucky, sticky goo. Um, yeah, I mean, there's the front cover. I uh, really like that. Um, back cover, not so, but um, yeah, so, uh, oh, but uh, slowly still look all around. I mean, I, I'm just fed up that I've got all these already on. On Blu-ray, and now I'm having to buy them all again on 4K. Although having said that, I'm not buying them all. I mean, there's some, there's some films I absolutely detest. Uh, as I've said in the past, Iron Man 3. Oh God, I really hate it with a passion. But um, yeah, so I'm just more or less picking up the ones that uh, that I quite like. And then we had the, um, we had the Winter Soldier, which was the second one I managed to. I managed to uh, tear the little thing while I was opening it, but uh, I had to do a repair job on that. So yeah, that was the that was a steel book for Winter Soldier. Again, a similar, similar back cover. Um, but uh, I mean, that, Captain America, not so much in 4K. I, did, I wasn't all that impressed with the transfer, but Winter Soldier looked a lot better. Um, and then just... This morning, I got this in the post. Still sealed. That's the Captain America Civil War, the third of the three Captain America films. Although that's more and more of an Avengers film, it still came under. It still came under Captain America. So, um, and I haven't opened that one yet. So I'll just leave that sealed until uh, until I'm going to watch it. But there again, you know, it's a similar style of cover with this, whole, this um, sort of faded look. But um, yeah, that was the that was the three Captain America films, and then I was I was in two minds whether to pick this one up. This is the four K version of Ad Astra. I had seen the film previously, um, and it was one of those films I wasn't too sure about. You know, it wasn't a bad watch, but it wasn't the greatest film in the world. No, I, I had this actually pre-ordered before I'd even seen it, um, but I decided to keep the pre-order. Um, yeah, it's a strange, strange looking cover, but um, yeah. now these, these are a couple of presents I got for me for my birthday. That's um, War of the Planet of the Apes, um, 4K version. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this series of films, but although that, that particular one, I would say was probably the better. Of them all. The first one wasn't bad, but as far as action is concerned, that was, um, I would say that was probably the better of the uh, three of them that have been so far, or four, I can't remember. So that was that. And then last but not least, um, a film everybody should watch, um, although it's in black and white, that's the 4K version of Schindler's List. Um, what does it say there? It's the 25th anniversary edition, including booklet, post and postcards. I haven't seen it. I haven't opened it yet. But I've seen it a couple of times. I've never seen it in 4K, of course. So I'll be interested to see how a, a black and white film looks in 4K. So that was the, um, that was the uh, steelbook uh, stuff out of the way now. I just got this a uh, couple of days ago. It's um, if any of you saw my last video on the mini, the mini retro arcade cabinets. This was this is another one by the, by the same people. Um, now this particular I can find any batteries to put in, so I'm sorry I can't show it to you working. But um, it's, um, it's it's on similar lines to the the ones I showed you in in the last video, except it's. Um, it's not an arcade replica as such. It's um, it's actually got 300 uh, 16 bit games on it, so they say. I mean, it seems seems a lot to go on a little thing like this. Uh, I mean, I, I don't suppose they're they're full size games. They might be more sort of um, mobile phone style games. But uh, I thought uh, it was only 
I mean, with, with a discount I got from Zavi on this one, it was only 13 quid uh, for 300 so-called games. Um, I thought I'd give it a pop. Um, you get a little, little instruction booklet with it. Doesn't tell you what games are on. Um, and then that's the that's the little box that it comes in. Um, there again, it only gives you a, a look at some of the games. I mean, I recognise a couple of the games there. I know that's that's Pang, which is a, a proper sort of arcade game, but um, I don't recognise too many of the others, so I don't know what they are. Um, it, the little fold-out thing on the front shows you shows you a few more. But um, there's nothing there that I'm really familiar with. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll have a look at that when I manage to find some batteries. So that was that, the same 13 quid. Not bad by in my opinion. Right, um, on the comic book, oh, I'll just show you these first while we're, we're talking about games. Sorry, I'm going out of shot there. Um, yeah, well, while I was away, well, I was away for a day in York um, in uh, early January, and um, there's a um, there's a retro game shop there that sells games, machines, whatever. You, and um, while I was in, I um, I picked this up. Um, now, Gunhead. This is these are all related to the Turbo Duo. By the way, which is the if you've seen my video on the subject, I did a I did a video about the uh, PC Engine and the Turbo Duo, which is the CD version of the PC Engine, and Gunhead um, on the on the uh, PC Engine, the ordinary PC Engine on card is one of my favourite shooters, and I saw this. Um, it's it's actually um, a CD version of it, but it's it's uh, something any, any anybody who knows about shops or shmups rather or know what I'm talking about when I say it's, it's, it's a caravan game that it's very popular in Japan these caravan games and what they are they're just um, they're just a game and you get three or five minutes um, to get the highest score you can it's fairly simple you know um, and you know the higher the score you get obviously um, I mean a lot of the a lot of the modern games you with, with being online you know you can have an online leaderboard, but obviously these are older games. But um, yeah, let's so say they, they were originally published as a, as a sort of like competition thing. I don't know how you record your scores and what have you. But now actually, I think having subsequently seen um, these from the people that make them, um, I, I paid over the odds for that one. But if I hadn't bought that one, I wouldn't have known about the others in the series. Which, uh, which I've since picked up on eBay at um, regular, you know, the regular cost. Um, that's um, that's another caravan CD called Force Gear, which comes from the um, Tokum Tokumeki Memorial. Must be a compilation of games, but uh, that's that's another caravan version where you you play for a high score. And then that one is still sealed. That's um, Twin B Returns. That's a very popular uh, Konami uh, or is a vertical shooter. Um, that's the caravan version of that. And then I've never heard of this one. This one's still sealed as well. Um, Psycho Rider. Strange way of spelling Psycho. But there you go. Um, there's a few. Screenshots from the game. So yeah, as I say, as, as a big fan of the uh, the Turbo Duo and CD shooters, I couldn't pass those up. Um, I, I actually haven't, um, I actually haven't played any of them yet. But um, it's something that uh, I'll be getting round to. And while I was there, I also uh, where I bought the the Gunhead one, I also picked up um, Fantasy Zone for the. For the um, PC engine, which just comes on um, one of the regular cards that slot in, and that was twenty quid, which is not bad for uh, PC engine shooters these days. 
so I thought we'd have that one. Okay, um, right, moving on to comic book stuff. Um, right, in the actual comic book line, this is the new, the new Thor. I've actually got around to bagging and boarding some of my comics now. So I've got that many lying around. Um, that's the new Thor from uh, number one, and that, that's by, uh, you know, I've, I've been rattling on about Donny Cates being my favourite writer the last couple of pickup videos. Well, this is uh, Thor that he's writing, a uh, new version of it, and that's, um, that's issue, that's issue two. And just yesterday, when I was in Forbidden Planet at Newcastle, I picked up the third issue. So yeah, I'm quite enjoying that um, at the moment. And then that's the second issue of the um, Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. I showed you the first edition, the last pickups. Was that one? And then that's issue three of Scream Curse of Carnage, which I showed you one or two, one and two of last time. Um, that's the, that's the second, these are the oversized comics that um, DC are doing in their black label line there. That's the, the Joker Harley, number two, and that's number th three, which I just picked up yesterday. Quite striking, it's more like the Hulk than the Joker. And, there, and then, uh, <laughs> I love this cover, this is crazy man. <laughs> that's the third edition of Joker Killer Smile which uh, which is a series I'm enjoying as well at the moment but uh, man that's mental isn't it <laughs> I love that uh, actually they they do two covers for these and the, the other the other cover was uh, extremely boring by comparison to that one I have to say right um, yeah we come to the the hardback books, um, you know, I'm very, very fond of hardbacks. Um, right, this is, um, this is a hardback book of the uh, artwork of Bill Sinkovich, or Sinkevich, I think it's pronounced. Um, he, um, he had a very, very recognisable style. Um, if, you, if you, I mean, back in the day when he was drawing in the 80s, um, Moon Knight was one of his um, most popular series. Um, you couldn't mistake a Bill Sinkovich uh, strip because his artwork was was far far different to everybody else's. And this is a collection of of artworks, um, comic related. But and there's, a, there's a nice Joker, black and white there. So he's, as you can see, his style is um, is very far removed. Um, this was uh, this had a tenner off it. I think it was supposed to be about forty quid. I picked it up for thirty. Um, let's find an example of uh, something totally whacked out there. Yeah. There you go. There's a nice one for it. <laughs> he did some crazy stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, that was. Um, that was one I was glad to get my hands on because I love, I love these hard book um, artwork, styley type things and yeah, pleased with that one. Um, that's actually a soft cover, but it was dirt cheap, about a fiver, and it's um, it's all the old reprints, all the eight Doc Savage comics from the eighties or late seventies. And and uh, Jim Stranko did a couple of covers, which is why I really wanted it. I don't have them in my collection. Um, I think that's a Stranko there, actually, right on the front cover. But he did two or three of the regular covers for the the eight, and um, they're they're inside there. Right, um, right. There's um, another one of these new fifty two uh, series that I'm collecting. That's number three of the the Batman series. Um, I don't know what's going on with this because all the other New 52 um, hardbacks I have are all black. Uh, so I don't know if this is a reprint or 
I'm pretty certain that there must be a, a regular in the one that falls in line with the rest of the black black looking covers but um, anyway I got this cheap so I thought I'd take a chance on it um, it's quite good anyway I quite like the cover um, and it's another one another one out of the way right and I bought this um, from Amazon for a good 15 quid off RRP um, All Star Comics yeah this is the Justice Society of America um, now this is back in, oh, I don't know when this was, originally uh, done, probably 80s, um, or late, no, no, probably probably 70s actually, late 70s. Um, the reason I bought it is because I quite enjoyed these stories at the time, but um, a lot of the artwork is by uh, Wally Wood, who's um, an old... Uh, an old artist uh, from way, way back in the day I enjoy, but also uh, an artist called Joe Statton did a lot of the later stuff. Um, I really like Joe Statton, that's, that's his artwork on the front there. Um, yeah, so I decided to pick that one up. It was only about 40 quid RRP and I got that for 25, so yeah, quite happy with that. Right, here was another very welcome Christmas present. Um, Right, Thanos by Donny Cates. Um, now this um, this is the final six issues of the of the, of the run of the most recent. Or, or the, I'm saying the most recent. There has been a a mini series since, but this was the last six issues of the the run of the last proper Thanos series. And but it also contains uh, some other material. Um, like the annual one, Thanos Legacy one, and more importantly, Cosmic Ghost Rider one to five, which um, which Donny Cates wrote, and they tell me that's a bit mental. So uh, I was quite pleased to have that in there. Um, Thanos being one of my favourite characters, I was uh, I was delighted to receive that. And then while we're on the subject of Donny Cates, that that hardback there is. All of the Doctor Strange stories that he did a couple of years ago. Um, I think these these were before he took over Thanos. They were probably one of his first sort of regular strips, Doctor Strange. Um, so I'd be interested to read that one. Uh, this one covers um, Doctor Strange three eight one to three ninety, and a mini series called Damnation one to four. So yeah, quite a bit of reading in there. Um, Delighted with that one. Now these two I'm going to show you now. I just picked up yesterday in Forbidden Planet. Um, now these are the what's on about these? Loving these. These are the old comics that they print as omnibuses. Okay. Now this particular one is the Bronze Age Justice League. Uh, Bronze Age normally starts around about 1970-ish or you know, early 70s. And this particular one covers Justice League issues one, uh, 77 to 113. Um, now these these are sort of like $100 books, uh, which you know, probably gives an RRP somewhere between 85 and 90 quid. And I picked that one up yesterday, steel, brand new for... 25 so I was um, very delighted with that I mean the artwork inside is unfortunately all by the same artist and he's an artist that I'm not particularly keen on Dick Dillon um, but there you go I mean all that all that old stuff for 25 quid but more impressive was this one um, right this is the Bronze Age House of Secrets. Now, this was an anthology volume, and it had you know sort of like horror stories uh, from month to month. And it's notable for the for the first being um, issue ninety two was the very first Swamp Thing story by Bernie Wrightson. You know the very famous run that he did from he did the first ten issues of the original Swamp Thing in the seventies, um, and uh, a lot of the stories in here are. are um, 
it's all those short stories, well, well they're all short stories, but some of them are by people like Wrightson, Neil Adams, um, Mike Kaluta, people that I really, really, really like. Uh, this is actually a $125 book, which would mark it out around over 100 quid when it came out anyway, and this was 35 so yeah, I was quite happy with that, and this covers um, House of Secrets um, issues 81 to 111, so there's, there's 30, 30 comic books in there for 35 quid. Oh, very nice too. So, yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of those omnibus volumes, and I pick them up wherever I can at those sort of prices. Right now, last but not least, um, I mentioned to you that I was at York in, in this retro uh, dealer's shop, and you also had this. Uh, this is a thirty quid book, which was sealed, brand new, twenty quid, and it's the history of um, SNK. Um, now, those of you, you know, in the know will, 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 will realise that SMK are the people that did the Neo Geo games. Um, now, I don't have any Neo Geo machines, unfortunately, so I won't be doing that. Those as part of my retro arcade machine series. But, um, yeah, some very interesting stuff in here. There's a lot of advertising material. It's just one of those sort of, um, it's more of a, an, an arty type book, to be honest. Um, as I say, it's got, um, see, I mean, it's a very, very nice book, it's very, like, it's on beautiful stock, um, character concepts and, and art and stuff like that, and, um, there's, um, there's, there's some advertising material in there, you get, um, you get a lot of covers from the actual, you can see that from the game boxes, um, just a really, really nice book, I, 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 didn't even know it existed to be honest but um, yeah I was pleased to pick that up for, for 20 quid so yeah folks that's um, that's about it for for January pickups um, I'm not sure what's coming up next to be honest but um, I'll think of something um, anyway keep the uh, keep the subscriptions rolling in and um, thank you once again and I'll see you very soon bye bye now